Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 16, where in verse 15 we read of having joy in the presence of God. Today I wanted to speak about joy. The book of Philippians, it's only four chapters, but 16 times in that epistle, the word joy or rejoice is seen. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 tells us to rejoice in the Lord always. In the presence of God, Psalm 16 verse 11 tells us, is joy forever. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22, we are told that the greatest remedy for a broken heart is not so much Paxil, Ambien, or Xanax, and I'm not taking away from people having to take medication at times, but the greatest remedy for a broken heart is joy. J. Vernon McGee was born in 1904. He died in 1988. He would often say that happiness is an outward thing that is based on outward circumstances when things are going good in your life. Joy is when you have a proper relationship with someone. Yesterday, I was speaking with a brother in Christ at my church, and we were sharing how we both grew up in homes where we didn't see our mothers and fathers hugging each other, kissing. We didn't see a lot of affection and joy. So a lot of times when you grow up, and the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, that you had to train up a child in the way they should go when they're young. And when they grow old, they won't depart from that way. When we get older, sometimes that it can, can go over into our relationship with God. Like if we didn't see a lot of love and joy growing up, we think that God is this stern judge that's always going to be ready to discipline us. And we, we were sharing, me and this brother, about how we struggle with having to experience the joy of God in our life. Having the love of God, seeing how much he loves us. Because growing up, we didn't see a lot of that. And you could look back at your own life and see maybe the struggles that you have now, even in your relationship with God. And oftentimes, it's because of how we were raised. But we were sharing, me and this brother, about how we are not to equate our relationship with God on our own experiences, our feelings, as much as that is true, but on the Word of God. And I shared some scripture verses before about how we are to experience joy. As J. Vernon McGee said, that old-time preacher, as I said, happiness is based on outward circumstances, what people can do for you. I remember back in the 1980s, Janet Jackson sang a song, What Have You Done For Me Lately? And oftentimes people will experience short terms of euphoria and happiness because of what someone does for them or buys for them. But it's all temporary. It's just temporary. Joy, true joy in the heart, as J. Vernon McGee would say, is having a proper relationship with God, a proper relationship with each other. Next month, me and my wife, God willing, will experience 28 years of marriage. I could be happy with her when we go out to eat or we spend time with each other, but it's all temporary. Going out to the diner or wherever, it's just temporary. But having joy with each other is when you truly can experience that true contentment with each other, even when you're not in each other's, each other's presence. So I hope today, my brothers and sisters, we can learn what it means to have joy. If you're struggling with having a joyful heart and truly having a glad experience in your relationship with God, truly experiencing the love of God, he understands. Go to him. You know, I like to talk with you guys, not at you. And if we're really honest, sometimes we might experience this struggle within us, this inner struggle of experiencing the love of God, the joy of the Lord, because of maybe the way we grew up or having a broken relationship, being hurt, being uh, uh, scorned by somebody. But today, my brothers and sisters, learn from the word of God that in the presence of the Lord, there is joy forevermore. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Joy is the greatest medicine for a broken heart. And that true joy is found in Jesus, in Jesus alone. And remember, before I end, the acronym JOY, J-O-Y, Jesus, others, yourself. We live in a culture where everything is me, myself, and I. My life matters. Everything is me. Life doesn't surround itself around us. It should be Jesus, others, yourself. And then you'll have true joy. 
Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. For any of us, including myself, that struggle with experiencing joy and love from you, Lord, because of our growing up, our uh, childhood bearing, maybe a broken relationship or uh, a trauma that happened in our life, Lord, help us to truly experience your joy this day based on our relationship with you through your son, Jesus Christ. Fill each and every one of us with your word. Guide and direct us by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. <coughs> Amen. God bless you all today, my friends.